latest collection was uh, coming back to my DNA because I've started the Shem Circlin collection like 10 years ago or something like that and it was just after I'd left the couture at La Roche and it was a mix of what I knew about ready to wear and what I had uh, been near with the couture in terms of embroideries and embellishments and work, working on the, on the clothes and uh, when I started couture, that uh, part of the job um, was missing a lot. And I thought uh, I want to do something that would be in between. Today, women's needs is mostly on dresses. That's where people are really getting excited and that's the easiest way of dressing. This is one, it's a one piece that makes it all. And so the most important part of the collection is dresses, but uh, we, I do believe that we need to have some jackets and coats to put on top of it, otherwise it becomes an, uh, an item collection and I, I want to be a look collection. Every collection was very, very over embroidered. This is something that I've always liked and, and, and experienced in a, in a very uh, positive way with some very strong brands like maybe Balmain or some people like that. And I felt it was uh, to be too much of a competition to do something on a sort of small scale. And we had stopped that and I realized that I can do it in a different way. I don't want the embroidery to be a bling bling kind of attitude. I want it to be more like uh, embellishment and like something more subtle. But I do believe that part of the collection has to have that feel because this is where I can make a difference. This collection was very much inspired by New York and by the metal architecture and the metal interiors of, you know, like big halls of banks from the 50s and 60s and the mix of dark marbles, the blacks, the silvers, the gold, the copper, the crystal building, all that mood. And this is more of a urban look than of a typically Parisian mood. I know that I've been born in Paris, I've been born next door to the Café Floor and this is my city and my area. But I love New York, I love Hong Kong, I love those cities where things happen in terms not only in fashion but in terms of architecture, the light, the light in New York or the light in Hong Kong is something very special. The reflection of light on the windows, on the skyscrapers is something that is very important to this collection. I began with that kind of mood, that, that, the, the mood of that light and then the sketch. People call uh, those carrot pants uh, with a very strange name. I called my line more like an asparagus line because it was kind of elongated but not fitted, you know, with a very uh, strong focus on the waist. The belt in this collection is a very important part because it's either to show the waist or to make it as an accessory that turns out to be almost like a jewel. The belt can be either embroidered or stud, but it, it was a very important part of, of the silhouette. We use fabrics a lot from it, I mean mostly from Italy and then a bit from England and from Japan where they are very interesting manufacturers and doing very fabrics that look very classic and have a very special touch. For example, this is a shiny gold flannel. This is shiny gold or silver and this flannel. You see? I think today the difference between interesting clothes and special clothes is a touch on the fabric. The place here on the Rue Jacob, we opened almost a year and a half ago and it was just an opportunity. We wanted to open a store and I found this space which was far bigger than what I expected. And that's what made me do an old dream of mine, which was to mix my own creation together with furniture, antique furniture, new furniture that we designed, pics of books, uh, because I think it, it's more a way of life than as a fashion store itself. It should not be a concept store because I think it's very, a bit day and there's a lot of concept stores, but it's more like you come into my universe and the whole place feels of what Michel Klein DNA is. 
and that's what we're trying to do and also to have some guests to invite some people to do like some small collections we've shown some furniture by Maria Madavi we've shown some uh, art exhibition by a woman called France Aubert France Lory We've done uh, an exhibition of Virginie Thévenet. This place is meant to be that. It's meant to be a mix of encounters of uh, very different uh, things and not to be only focused on fashion.